Okay, we are ending chapter three in math. We've already got through three chapters, so today we're going to review it. Tomorrow we will have our chapter three math test. So our chapter three is, has been on how to add two-digit numbers. So we've learned a couple ways to add two-digit numbers. So at the top, make sure your name is on it. I see some papers without names. Make sure your name is on it, please. Then, the first thing they want us to do is to check our vocabulary. Now, number one says to regroup, and we know re means to group again. Two is sum, three is add. Now, we're going to look over here. And we have three plus four equals seven. We have a problem here where we added, and we had to carry the one. And we have 8 plus 1 equals 9, and 9 is being point to. So that is what we need to look at, at the arrow. So on number 1, regroup. Who thinks they could come up here and draw a line from the word to the picture that matches where you're regrouping? Who thinks they can do it? Kinsley, you think you can do it? Come up here, Kinsley. Let's see if you're right. Which one is showing regrouping, Kinsley? So one goes to which picture? Which one? You. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The bottom one? Or which one? No. Sorry, the bottom? <laughs> which one? The bottom? No, the bottom is pointing to this number here. That's not regrouping. The top, are you regrouping anything? Uh -huh. Regrouping is like pairing a one or trading. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. If it's not the bottom, it's not the top, it's it has to be the middle. the middle. So draw a line from one to there. And can I just show you guys? This is what we're talking about when we're regrouping. I thought you only could do these. There's one, two. All right, so this is showing regrouping. When we carry that one, we're, we are regrouping. Number two is sum. Lewis, do you think you can come find a sum? Tell it, show us what a sum is. Yeah, good job. So number two goes down here. Can I borrow it? And I'm gonna do what Lewis, I'm just gonna show you, this is the sum. Okay, so the last one, Aria, add. Which one is showing us adding? That's easy. That one's easy. Good I, job. I and literally did that. Like, I'm we're like, adding. Oh my god. So that's what your paper should look like. So make an X then. Okay. Yes. Kind of two X's going on there. Yeah. At the bottom, this is the tricky part. This is the hard one where we had to add our addeds by trying to make it like a 10. <laughs> so if I look at this one, 33 plus 58, I want to break 33 apart. Now, Mrs. Murphy's going to think, if I'm at 58, whoa, sorry guys, how many more to get to 60? I'm at 58, 59, 60. How many more is that? a two because fit two plus 58 is 60. Now, if I have 31 and I take two away, how much is left? So if I say 33 and I go back to 32, 31. Wow. So this side over here is 31. Then I gotta bring that down here. Now we should be able to add in our head 60 plus 31. So I want you to think, what is 60 plus 31 more? Patty? Yeah, 91, because I 
Okay, 60 plus 30 more. 60, 70, 80, 90 plus the 1. It's kind of like 3. 91. Mercy, how I did it is I used my fingers to stick. Perfect. That's another way to do it. What if it, what if it, um, 90, no. What if it's 60? Thank you, Corla. You are right. Thanks for paying attention. 35, she said. 27 and 33. So I would maybe write, underline them and then maybe write them off the side because I think we have to find out how many did they sell in all. all. So we know in all means to add. 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 So if you want to circle the question like we, they kind of have us do, Okay, then when you have them all lined up, we're going to add our tens, or I mean our ones column first. Now, Mrs. Murphy, when I add the ones column, I can find a 10. Who can find the 10 to add? Riley? I think, Riley, I got five plus seven plus three. 
What makes a tent? Can you find it? Can a friend help you? Rain, can you help her? Um, seven and three. Yeah, seven and three make ten. Yeah, seven plus three is ten. Good job. Now, if this is ten, and then I got five more. Riley, what is ten plus five? Fifteen. Good job. Put down the five. Carry the one. Carry the one. Oh, that's right. So, we can add this in many different ways. I just count by those three. Like okay. All in a row. So, Mrs. Murphy, no, three plus three is six, plus two more would be seven eighths, plus one more would be nine. nine. But you can add that however you want, as long as you add each number one. It's 95. So 95 tickets. Holy cow, that's a lot. That's a bunch. Oh, you can go any way you want to go. All right, 95 tickets. Number 22. Peyton has 13 marbles. She finds 11 more marbles. How many marbles, marbles does Peyton have in all? So, John, what are the numbers that we should underline? What do we know? 13. Good. 11. Good. All right, you're right. I think that's it, right? Yeah. So she has 13 and she finds 11 more. So we're going to add that wherever you can find room. Again, I say it, find in all. So in all means to add. Whenever you see the word in all, you know you have to add. All of them. All right, Mrs. Murphy's got switched over here. So really, if you look over here, three plus one, what is that, Brooklyn? Four. Good. I don't need to carry anything. Two. One plus one is two. Two. 24. I need to put it away. I'm a smart child. It's 24. Okay. On to the brain builder. We are going to do the brain builder. The brain builder, I'll move it up in a second. There's a few friends finishing. The brain builder says Dylan ate 18 grapes, Evan ate 12 grapes, Layla ate 14 grapes, Haley ate one less grapes than Layla. How many grapes were eaten? <sighs> this is going to be a tough problem. So there's a couple things we need to think about. The first thing is, let's think about how many grapes did each person eat? So, Rain, give me one number. 18. 18. So Dylan ate 18. So underline 18 and let's write it over to the side. Okay. You can write it on the other side if you want to. Mrs. Murphy's going to write it over here though for me. Okay, so that's Dylan. We got Dylan done. How many grapes did Evan eat, Ingrid? 12. 12. So under your 18, put your 12. So we got Evan done. Then we have Layla. Let's have Addie, you go first, and then Brooklyn, okay? Even though your time is run out. All right, Layla ate how many grapes, Tyson? 14. 14, good job. So under your 12, put 14. Now, we have one more person. We have Haley, but it doesn't tell us the number. John. One eats one. Oh, what did she eat? One. She didn't eat one. No. Read it again. She ate one more than Lily. Whatever the name is. No. Layla. Layla. Okay, let's look at the words. Haley ate one, one less grapes than That's Layla. That's 13. That's 13. So if, if Layla ate 14, one less would be 13. 13. And this should be one. Good job. Way to think about that, second graders. Now, my question is, how many grapes were eaten? That's a, so we're going to add over here, Mrs. Murphy.
we can find a 10 right there. 8 plus 2 is 10. And 4 plus 3 is 7. What is 10 plus 7? 17. Riley knows. What did the rest of you know? What is 10 plus 7? 17. Put down the 7. Carry the 1. Oh, this is easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I did. I count by 2. So there were 57 grapes eaten by the kids. Okay, that was kind of hard. <laughs> Alright, our test practice. Make sure you put in your number over here. Alright, make sure you put your number there, okay? Test practice number 24. The red team has 20 boys. The blue team has 19 boys. The green team has 19 boys. And the yellow team has 20 boys. How many boys are there in oh, all? Oh, this one's easy. So we're going to have to add these numbers. The red team, this is where he's going to write in the red over here. Uh, the red team has 20. The blue team has 19. The green team has also 19. And since Mrs. Murphy doesn't have a yellow, my black is going to be my yellow. It is 20. I just have a highlighter that's yellow. I guess I could go like this. Should I do that? We cannot even see that. I know, it's kind of hard to see it. I'm looking really close. Now, I'm going to add going down my ones column first. So this should be easy. Zero, nine, nine is zero. So nine plus nine is? Eighteen. Nine plus nine? Eighteen. Eighteen. Put down the eight. Carry the one. Right there I have a double. Two plus two is four. Then I have five, six, seven. So I should have seventy-eight. Some to the 
again, Briley, if I have 8 plus 2 plus 4, because 14. 14, because this gets me 10, plus 4 more would be 14, carry the 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, we're adding four two-digit numbers, but this is where people see the 10. Five plus five is 10. It was 14. Plus four more would be 14. 14. Carry the one. 84. I know. So then, this would be three plus three more is six, seven, eight. eight. 84. 84. Aria, you're smart. Now, you guys are getting so good at your math back. Do you guys see how important it is to know your math facts? I want to do this for me. If you know your math facts really fast, then when you're adding, you can add quickly. You don't have to sit and count with your fingers or on a ruler. Okay, now, your assignment. Boy, sit down. I'm still teaching. I'll get you in a minute. Okay? Because my remote learners at home need to know what to do, too. Your assignment is to finish this page all by yourself. Okay, and when you get done, you hand in your whole packet, and then Mrs. Um, Schaefer will be here in about 15 minutes. So if you get done pretty quickly, you have three choices. You can do Freckle, you can do IXL Math, or I'm going to let you, if you like, would rather sit at your desk and AR read or take tests, you may do that. So you've got three choices today. Okay? Go ahead and get started. <laughs> 